Hey everybody, this is Zendro back with another video on command prompt command line. So what we're going to go over today is network latency. So if you don't know what network latency is, it is basically, um, let's see, a quick way to explain this is I have one server A, and we'll say that that's right here imaginarily, and I have another server B, we'll say that's right here. Now the network latency is how long does it take server A to send a, a certain amount of packets to server B and then how long does it take for server B to respond with the acknowledgement that it got the packets back to server A so to go over this really fast we're gonna use the ping command now the ping command I went over uh, in a previous tutorial and I showed you how you can send four packets um, to a certain uh, server and then it will show you if the packets were sent, received. This is basically that, but it's a little bit more in depth as we are, like I said, going over latency. So if we go ahead and ping google.com, I don't have to just send four packets anymore. I can send a custom amount of packets. I can send 20 packets, 30 packets, 40 packets, 50, just however many you want. And we can check the timing on those packets to see how long, like I said, it's taking that server to contact you and say, okay, I got your packets and everything came out fine and all of the data is here and none of it was lost. So what we can do is type in the minus N sign, as you see here, type a space, and then type in the number of packets that you want to send. For default purposes, I'm going to go over a few different uh, ping ideas. So we're going to use 10. So it's sending 10 packets from server A, which is my server, to server B, which is one of Google's public servers. Alright, and as you can see here, I had a 0% packet loss. Now this is uncommon basically because of the distance between one server, my server, and the next server, which is Google's server. Now, obviously on a physical scale, I have no clue where Google's network server is. I can see the physical address of it I can see the IP of it if I trace routed it but I can I don't know where it is I don't know where it's located at so there is some cause of packet loss there so I've, I didn't get any packet loss this time but that's not always going to be the case so I can ping let's say yahoo.com and do the same thing send 10 packets to it And another quick thing, as every line pops up, it's popping up not on a measure of your computer actually sending the packet. It's popping up on a measure of how long it took from that second server to respond and say, okay, I got your packet. Okay, so again, we had a 0% packet loss. And again, like I said, this is not fairly common because of the physical distance between one server to another. Just to show you um, quickly how they contact each other, I'm going to actually go ahead and type in my IP address. I'm going to send my IP address 10 packets using the same method I used before. And then we're going to go check the latencies. Okay, so after I sent my packets to my router, my routers or my server and I got them back as you can see quite the opposite has happened um, as far as how long you thought it was going to take from from my router that is a lot physically closer to me than google.com or yahoo.com servers um, I got a average time of 116 milliseconds as yahoo got 55 and google got 66 but as you can see from my server, the fastest packet sent was in one millisecond, or my minimum was one millisecond. So that shows you right there how fast or how close that network was to me at the time when I pinged my IP address. And basically that's all I wanted to go over uh, today, um, just timing seeing your packets, uh, seeing how many are sent and received, checking your loss, and then checking the time that it's actually taking for your server to contact the second server.
And that's basically it. Like I said, just please subscribe to my videos. If you have any quest questions about the command prompt or the command line, please post them below. I'll be sure to answer them. And if you have any video ideas, please post them below too. So thank you, and you guys have a good day.